All right, this is my full non-sweaty MOC12 run. And for the first half, I run an Acheron team comp. And for the second half, I run a Blade team comp. So I'll do a bit of commentary to explain what I'm doing. So first off, to start the fight, I use Pella's E to get her ultimate up. But I hold her ultimate until Ron May casts her ult so I can just get an extra bit of damage. Then after that, I hold off on Acheron's ult until I have as many stacks of uh, debuffs on the enemies as possible. So now is when I use it and it should deal close to a million damage if I crit, but there are times where I don't crit. So in this, yeah, it ranges from like 780,000 to 990,000, depending on how many crits I have. And then I use Welt's ultimate to make it so that they never get to act. And so you can see that I'm running no sustain on this team. The reason I opted for no sustain isn't because I'm getting sweaty with this one. It's because Ron May Welt as a pairing makes it super easy to break enemies if they're imaginary weak. And then with Welt slows and then Ron May's break and delay, you basically can run a no hit run where you delay the enemies so much that you never get hit during the entire fight. And so this is an example of a no hit run where I basically keep delaying the enemies and not letting them ever act. And yeah, the rest of the fight just plays out easily. You stack debuffs and then you cast your Akron ult. At this point, the enemy is never going to move. So it's just complete PvE. I mean, the game is PvE to begin with, but now the enemies aren't even fighting back anymore. Like throughout this entire fight, they didn't even get a single turn. If my Akron was built better, I could have one cycled this instead of a two cycle, just because those ultimates would have been enough to finish, but anyways, I haven't been very lucky with Akron's artifacts. Okay, the second half is my unlimited blade team and I opted with Lynx for this one because there's a lot of CC that can be very, very annoying and Lynx, my Lynx is at E4. And so what my Lynx is capable of is, I think it's E2, when you use your skill on an ally, it blocks the next instance of CC. And then her ultimate is like a instant team-wide cleanse and so you can hold it for when like someone gets dominated by Kafka yeah and then it's basically you just cycle blade with sparkle Branya over and over again and then if someone happens to be cc'd or is about to get cc'd you could use links to cleanse them Yeah, so there's not much to this team. It's very, very straightforward to play. And that's kind of why I like it. If you've watched my other videos, you know that this is a team comp I really like running. And so maybe you're growing tired of it, but... Um, yeah, until I build up other characters, this is the best performing blade team comp that I have. Uh, so the thing that's about Branya, the little person with the two stars, I think that's well, the next time she gets hit, she will be stunned and slowed. And so if you anticipate her getting hit, then it would be better to cleanse her now 
before she gets stunned, but I know I can kill these enemies before that happens, so I ignore it. But the reason why it's better to preemptively cleanse than to cleanse after she gets stunned is because once she gets stunned, she also gets pushed down the turn order, and then it messes with your speed tuning, and then you get sad. Here I use my Lynx ult. Kind of stupidly, I, I used it to get another stack towards Blade's follow-up attack, but I should have saved it for uh, for when Kafka uses her domination. It's a little stupid of me, I got greedy. Don't be greedy like me. Ideally it would be nice to have her Lynx's ultimate here, because now Blade got dominated and yeah, it's a little sad. It's still fine though, like it's not a reset angle because Branya also has a cleanse and that's the good thing about this team. It's stacked to the stacked to the roof with cleanses. So you have Lynx E2, which has a preventative like CC thing where you, if when you skill a, an ally, it blocks the next instance of CC. Then you have Lynx's cleanse on her ultimate, which you can basically save for whenever you want. Oh, like you see there, Sparkle got slowed, so I was a little slow on this one too. So that's another mistake in this run that you should avoid. And then you also have Branya's cleanse on her E, which is nice. So here I, I speed up Sparkle just to reset the turn order so that my speed tuning isn't messed up. But yeah, that mistake of not cleansing before Sparkle got stunned, that basically cost me a blade turn. So this run could still be optimized, but honestly I didn't see the point of optimizing it because like, it'd probably just go from a late 3 cycle clear to like a slightly earlier 3 cycle clear. Um, also I think some people mentioned that Lynx doesn't have enough raw healing compared to other healers and I think in some cases that's fair like when your characters are always close to death she's not comfortable enough to heal everyone back up to full health but like in this team for example every single unit is tanky as hell so you have blade who by default is super super tanky because you build HP on him and unless you're playing him very very incorrectly he should almost never be near death. And then you have the supports, Branya and Sparkle, who you should probably build with tank stats outside of the speed and crit damage. Because like all they care about are speed, crit damage, and then tankiness. So they're also quite tanky. And then you have Lynx, which is another HP scaling healer. So every single unit on this team is very tanky. And so I, I didn't find any problems using Lynx as the solo sustain here. Uh, the other thing is skill point management. So I think this is something that I don't think about anymore because I have Sparkle who is skill point positive, Blade who is I guess skill point neutral, although he still consumes skill points. And then I have Branya E1. So all of these kind of make it so I have excess skill points to use anyways, so Lynx's skill point usage isn't a problem. And I slow it down here to let Blade do the finishing kill. It would have been cooler if it was his ultimate animation, but I, I didn't have enough energy, so sadly we have to settle for a basic attack. So that's the 5 cycle clear. The 2 cycle no hit on the first half, and then a 3 cycle blade on the second half. Here's the character builds. Pella's basically an alt bot. I want her to be faster, but the artifacts aren't there. Akron is E0, S0. My artifacts, aside from two of them, are dog water. So there's a lot of room for improvement here as well. Ranmi is E1, S1. A slow Ron May build. Welt is on the tutorial light cone. 
Branya is on Planetary Rendezvous. She's E1. Blade is my best built character. And I think he's ranked number two on Sealy mains. So I have the number two ranked E0 S1 Blade. Sparkle is on Dance Dance Dance. So that was my clear as a free to play player. I feel like this was quite low budget aside from, I think the only one that's not relatable is E1 S1 Ranmei, but I tried to keep the rest slightly relatable.